Right, so I'm just going to have another go at loading in this test case. Um, I think this is my third attempt now. But um, I've got this. Um, I've got a working directory. This is one of the open foam FEA solvers called um, Solid Elastic Plastic Foam. So I've been given this test case by somebody else. I haven't created it myself. All I've done is I've just added um, this file in temp.foam. So there's a, a foam file that I can load. So I go to Power View, go to my working directory. Um, I've just got the solution in it and load the temp file and there's some warning message here about something not being valid but it's an old version of um, PowerView so that loads in the mesh Oop. go look at the mesh well that's very nice um, but uh, when you load it in, it's at time zero. But obviously, the solution files are numbered one through to five. So you can, I can just skip straight to the latest solution. And then when I go over to the selector, um, what field I want to look at, they've got sigma, they've got epsilon, got u. So that's the stress, the strain, and the displacement. So I can quite easily load in. Or we'll look at the, um, the stress field. I can go to the the strains, or I can go to um, the displacement. Um, so I can view that aside on. So that's looking at displacement field. And if I want to actually see what the displacement looks like. Um, I know that I can use warp by vector, so that literally warps the solution based on the displacement vector that you select here, u. And then you can put in a scale factor because obviously displacements are so small that you won't be able to see them. So I put in a scale factor of 100 and it squashes it a bit. You can even put in a thousand, then you can really see um, how squashed it's become. Um, so yeah, and if I um, I can go back through the solutions and then see how that changes at each time step. Um, and what I could also do is um, create an animation. So just go to File, Save Animation, and leave that at one frame per time step. Save Animation. I've already done this before, but that will. In this version of PowerView, that will save a, it's just an AVI file. And then once you've got an AVI file, you can um, use an online converter to um, convert it to MP4 or whatever your preferred format is. Um, so that's quite easy to do. Uh, so yeah, this is a compression case. That's why the it's getting squashed. Um, and you can even if you select glyphs then it will even show you what the, the, the um, what the directions of the displacement vector is so yeah that's just a very quick demonstration of using PowerView to look at uh, one of the results from uh, an FEA analysis in open foam